Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial. This time we'll be looking at how you can export a mind map from iMindMap into DropTask. So you can access DropTask from the action menu or we can go to file and export and access DropTask from there. This will begin the export process to DropTask. So we're going to go click there. Now this menu allows you to control a few of the options going into drop task. You can choose to bring in your time map or just the original mind map. I'm going to leave it as the project because this map doesn't have a time map. Then you can organize which branches are going to turn into groups and which of them are going to turn into tasks. You have control over this yourself, although I mind map will decide some of this for you, depending on the hierarchy of your branches. So if a task is if a branch is right at the end of its tree and it has no descendants, it'll become a task. Whereas if it has descendants and is closer to the central idea, it will become a group. You can still change these manually just by clicking on the little boxes and placing them where you want. So if you do have some parent branches that you want to become tasks, you can make tasks out of them as well. So we're going to go click export and this will begin the process Drop task should open up in your browser, like so. Uh, if you haven't already signed in and connected your drop task account, it will prompt you to do that. And then you can choose whether to add this to an existing project or a new project. We're going to go and name it. I'm just going to call this web updates, just like the mind map. You can choose templates if you have any saved already. And you can add people from your calendar in Google to the project that you can assign to tasks. Now this is how your tasks will pop in. It's very therapeutic to watch as they all appear. And then once you're in here, you can use Drop Task to manage your project. You can change the name of tasks. You can add a checklist to manage individual subtasks. You can sort and filter using the tags that you applied in iMindMap, as well as choose deadlines. Again, if you created a time map and imported that in, it will carry over the deadlines and you can move tasks and groups around after the import, like you can see here, without having to worry about taking care of that in the menu in iMindMap 10. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. See you next time.